On the last episode of Lily's Life, we we're headed towards northern Thailand in the province of Ganchanaburi when we got the sad news that Watt's aunt passed away. So now we're back in Pechaburi to attend the funeral. So good morning. We're here back at the town of Pechaburi, but this time we're staying on the beach at this little hotel that I'm going to show you later. And we're out for breakfast, me, Watt, and Luke, and letting the other kids sleep in. <laughs> Yeah. How was it? You see in the south they don't have the lake so long like this, the like small one. You don't see a restaurant like this? No. All right, let's, let's walk to Amazon. We're gonna get this food takeaway. So all these little restaurant outlets are just like little stalls, but restaurant stalls, but it's cool because there's a lot open early. What, did you ever go to the beach when you were young? I mean, at Pechaburi, the, the beach here. So this is the first time you've seen the Pechaburi beach. All right, this is the beach at Pechaburi. I know, it's a little bit fishy in the air, to be honest with you. In Koh Samoy, they don't have trees like this by the beach. It's nice that it gives it some shade. I was looking on booking.com and there's some expensive places on the beach here, like resorts, like some things that are like $200 a night, 6,000 baht a night. What are you doing? Okay, show us the hotel, Leon. You hungry? You hungry? <laughs> Show us inside, Leon. Get sewing machines. Lila still has a call. Did you notice something different about this hotel? It's a Christian owned hotel, Thai Christian. And it was Watt's cousin that brought us here because she knows that we're Christian and she knows the owner. Look at this, fried rice crab with big jumbo lump crab meat. And Leon, look what we have. I had my hot chocolate. We have rice soup with some tofu in it. I'm going to that before, some fish. Crab fried rice, palmio, fried bananas, a feast. Her and Lila, she's being tortured by her brothers. <laughs> Leon had some dirty feet. Oh, that was a bad call. You okay, Leon? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy just came back from the temple. Oh my goodness. And this is what he brings us. Gummies. Sunflower seeds. Almonds. Honey roasted sunflower seeds. Cookies. Dark chocolate. Did you go to the temple? Mm -hmm. How many people were there? Mm -hmm. Not many. Oh, look, they have showers. There's a place to sit. There's a baby pool. Jump in. But look at that beautiful view of the beach. Yeah, I have whales. <laughs> this is a big hotel. It's three floors. Whose shoes are in this hallway? Just leave them there. <laughs> I'm just going to take them. Oh, that's nice. Be quiet, Leon. Sleep, Leon. When we first came here to Pechaburi, I prayed for Watt's uncle because he said he had pain in his leg. And I prayed, and what happened? 
Mm -hmm. You say you feel better. He feels better. And you've been talking to him? Mm -hmm. And there was a Bible here, and it had like a book of scripture, and Watt gave him the book, right? Yeah. Where are we, Watt? I don't know. Some land beach. Had who time? Oh, there's Luke's motorcycle. Luke, you just can't help yourself, can you? Yeah, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Wow, look, we could put our feet in the water. Yeah, let's sit there. Well, that's really good at ordering food. <laughs> the menu's all in Thai, so don't expect to have an oh, English yeah. menu. How are you feeling today? Mm -hmm. Sad by your aunt? Mm -hmm. I'm the same for you. Which one are you about a person to sit here? Yeah, they all like uh, And then the restaurant. Yeah. Luke, do you miss Kosa Yeah, I have. Do you miss Kosa Daddy, yeah, remember, remember we were on the paddleboard in Copenhagen? And we saw like a black thing. Yeah. Black sing. Oh, you the cucumber, the water cucumber, the sea cucumber. Yeah. And we ride the paddleboard and meet Daddy and me. Well, I was telling me that it's very rare that you see a restaurant like this where they have tables on the beach, right? Yeah, because in Thailand, normally the government they have the law like you cannot put anything on the beach. Because like the beach. beach is owned by the government. Yeah. You know. Because you so can like in some movie or everywhere you have beach. You cannot put everything on the beach like here. Yeah. But I feel like it's different roles because Samui they do put tables on the beach, but like in your hometown, yeah, they but have, you see, they can't, right? In my hometown, they, they don't put on the beach like this. Do you like this? Do you think it's good? I think yeah. it's good for them. No, water is gonna high and oh. up and low. So do they have to move these tables every time? I don't see. Yeah, water come up, the sand come up, and. See, we put something like heavy. Yeah. I think Luke missed the beach, right? Yeah. Ah! We have to eat the sand and spit it out. Tom yum. Yum. This is like a classic tom yum. It's not red. Like no. you see, like more I see. touristy ones. I see. I ones. say clear soup. Oh, you asked clear. Yeah. That looks like a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like a bad kind of one. Luke, good name, mate. My dad. One mop. One mop. Very sweet. Oh, wait a minute. These are a little bit different than your hometown. That tom yam is really deceptive because it's clear, it doesn't look spicy, and wow, it is so spicy. It's burning my mouth out. Why don't you tell me what? Mm, it's spicy. What are you buying? Look bad. Dessert? Mm. Uh -huh. I just caught that crab. What's under the crab, my friend? This is okay. What's two? Lots of two out of the four three. or three. Three. One is not good, but the other one is good. Look at that big lump of crab meat, boy. Eat it. We are at Watt's aunt's funeral. This is his dad's brother's wife who passed away, and she was only 69, and it was really sudden, right? Yeah. Like she started getting sick a couple months ago, and then she just took a turn. Oh. What? Oh. Um, 
Rice soup clam. Rice soup clam. She's tired. She's tired. She's tired. This is Luke and Leon's cousin. Watch these. And that's your cousin, like Ari and Alexis is your cousin, yeah. right? Lila, yeah. <laughs> do you like that rice soup? Yeah, you like it. You like it. Leon. Give each other a kiss. It's firework time. Is this typical? No, I've never seen a funeral have fireworks. I've never seen it. Fire. 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 Oh my god! 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 Oh, look, they make more. What? Look, look, look. Yeah. One more. No. One more. Mom, I can't come back home. Oh, no. Go down. You're scared, the big one. You're scared. Mm. Oh. Oh. Please say back on you, Mama. Oh, Please say back to you. Yeah. <laughs> the reality about life is that death is inevitable, which is something you need to think about if you have someone financially dependent on you. And this is why I bought a life insurance policy for the benefit of my children. So if anything were to happen to me, my kids are protected. And I did this when I went back to the US with Luke when I was pregnant. So if you're interested in a life insurance policy, I want to give a shout out to my sister, Marcy. She is a financial advisor and she specializes in life insurance. So if you want to protect your family's future, someone who's financially dependent on you, go send her an email or you can DM her on Instagram. I will leave her information down below in the description box. Okay, can you guys please subscribe to the video? Hit that like button. And hit that like button. And, and snatch it.